The DNA simulation enables you to place an orphan or adoptee in your family tree. You need two things. First, you need a family tree that where some of the members have DNA in common with the adoptee. Um, like this. And second, you need an adoptee who is not connected to anyone. To create a DNA simulation, click on Charts and Reports, Descendant Chart, and make sure on, in the DNA Matrix tab, make sure you've checked Display DNA Matrix, and make sure you have selected a match CSV file that contains the DNA matches between the people in your family. This um, file can be as simple as uh, two kit numbers and the amount of centimorgans that they share. Here we have the adoptee Adam that has DNA in common with two other members of the family. In the DNA simulation tab, select the folder where the simulations will be stored and the name of the uh, prefix name of the chart files. Then uh, select the adoptee, the person whom we are trying to place. Then click Perform Simulation. In this simulation, we see that uh, Adam cannot be the son of David or Charles. The centimorgans don't match, the hypothetical centimorgans don't match the laboratory results. However, if we speculate that John had a relationship with another woman, then uh, that which who we call inserted spouse 43 here then we see that adam could be the son of john through this uh, hypothetical second wife the centimorgans would fit perfectly with the uh, observed laboratory results if we increase the number of generations that we're allowed to uh, to uh, create from one to two and perform the simulation we see that this opens up more possibilities. Now, for example, here we added uh, a second spouse to David and a son of David and the second spouse, another inserted spouse. Adam could be the grandson of David. That would compute. We see here that Adam could also be the grandson of Charles and the Centimorgans would uh, would compute. The relationships would be different, but they would be consistent with the laboratory results. Here we have another scenario where Adam is the grandson of John. That would also work. And here we see that Adam could also be the son of John, and the Centimorgans would compute. And finally, another relationship here. Adam could be the grandson of John with a second spouse. So the point here is that these are all relationships that are possible. Um, naturally, they require further investigation and corroboration with other historical facts. But uh, the point is that they, they, lead, they, they suggest some avenues of research. If you're looking specifically for a father or a mother, you can restrict the gender of the person that the orphan will, get, will be connected to. Charting Companion can perform some extensive, very complex simulations that would otherwise take hours and, and weeks of work. By assigning a color code to the orphan, you can see uh, how the orphan is, you can immediately detect how the orphan is positioned in the scenarios. Here we have a fuchsia colored orphan, and we can see the orphan in all the different possible positions uh, in this particular simulation with a large family unit and lots of DNA.